Now in this video, we'll be seeing how to configure the redistribution between two protocols. Like one side we have an RIP, other side we have EHRP. Now how to do that? Now if you just get back to the basics, what we learn, uh, now we need to know that there are two things we need to keep in mind when we do redistribution. The router must be running both the protocols wherever we do redistribution and we need to manually change the metric. So we discussed that in detail in my previous videos. So what we'll do is we'll take a small scenario where I got three routers. If you want to add more, you can add. So I'm going to assume that these routers are running RIP version two and the other part of the network is running EHRP. Now by default, the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to do the basic advertisements, advertising the interfaces as per the diagram, advertising this in RIP on the left side and the right side is EHRP. Now, once you do these basic advertisements, what happens is the route tendor network here, you can see the tendor network. This tendor network will be advertised to router two, but it will not get advertised to router three. And the reason is because this side it is EHRP and RIP updates will not be sent, will not be learned by EHRP interfaces or EHRP routers. Okay. <clears throat> so to fix that, we need to do redistribution. So let's go ahead and first do the basic configuration. I'm going to start with router one on the router one, advertising the interfaces in RIP, router RIP version two, no auto summary and advertising the LAN interface and WAN interface. If you want to add more interfaces, you can add, I don't need here. So similar way on the router three, advertising both the interfaces, router EHRP 100, oh, sorry, 100 it has to be, router EHRP 100 and then I'm going to say no auto summary network 30 dot network in the LAN and 2 dot network in the WAN. So router 1 is completely running RIP and the router 3 is completely running EHRP but we must have at least one router which is running both the protocols that is mandatory because that router is responsible for exchanging the routes between two different routing protocols when we do redistribution. Again, it is not going to do automatically. We need to manually define the redistribution commands. So, but let's finish off with the basic configurations. I'm going to say router RIP version two and advertising RIP on the WAN interface on the left side. I think router 20 door network is also in RIP. So let's do that. Now on the router two, the two door network belongs to EHRP. So let's say router EHRP 100, no auto summary network to dot network. Now these are my simple distribution labs. Now if you just verify router two should be able to form the neighborship with router three, you can see. And if I verify the routing table of the router two, if I give show IP route, I can see, I should be able to see the routes coming from RIP as well as I should be able to see the route coming from EHRP. If you just try to observe on the router 2, the router 2 is able to receive this tendor network and you can see here it's learning as RIP route, RIP and it's learned via 1.1.1.1 and similar way it's also learning the route from EHRP, it's 30 dot network and you can see this all EHRP metrics. But the thing is router 1 will not be able to see the route 30 dot network if I just give show IP route. You can see it's only learning the route from RIP that is 20 dot network, but I don't, I'm not able to see the 30 dot network because the 30 dot network belongs to EHRP and by default router one will not learn any routes from EHRP. Now, same way, if I check on the router three as well, if I give show IP route EHRP or simply say show IP route, the router three is not learning any routes because the two dot network is directly connected and the 20 dot network belongs to e RIP, but the router 3 is running EHRP. Now I want to ensure that router 1 and 3 should exchange the routes. So I need to configure redistribution. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do redistribution on router 2. So the first thing, the router must be running both the protocols. So in my scenario, router 2 is the one which is running both the protocols, uh, which means I'm going to do redistribution on the router 2. So I need to redistribution from RIP to EHRP first or it can be EHRP to RIP. But again, we need to do mutual redistribution, both the sides. Let's start with 
EHRP to RIP. Okay, so router two. I need to go to router. Now, whenever we do distribution, we need to first get into the router mode. And router mode, it has to be. So we are redistributing from EHRP into RIP. So I can say that this is my source protocol where I'm getting the routes and I'm converting them into RIP. So my destination protocol will be RIP. So always when you do redistribution, we need to get into the destination protocol. So we need to say router RIP, see the direction. And then we need to say redistribute inside the router mode. And what is my source protocol? Source protocol is EHRP. So I need to say EHRP. And then you can use question marks because when you use question mark, it will ask you the AS number. And then after that, we need to define the metric. As I said, whatever the metric used by EHRP, it is cost. It, it RIP cannot understand the cost. So RIP only understand hop counts. So we need to say metric. And then we need to define some metric in terms of hop counts. So which means I can give any number in between from 0 to 15. So let's say I'm giving a metric of 1 in terms of hop counts. So the metric has to be given in terms of hop counts mandatory so let us configure this and verify on the router 2 so let's go to router 2 and on the router 2 i'm getting into my rip protocol because that is my destination protocol redistributing ehrp and use question mark it is asking me the as number so i'm running ehrp 100 and you can see if you want you can press enter but if you press enter it's not going to take automatic metric so we need to compulsory define the metric. So I'm going to say metric as one hops. In terms of hops, you can use question mark. You can see the metric. I can use anything as one. So now if I go to router one, I should be able to see the route. If I give show IP route, I should be able to see the 30 door network here, learned as RIP here. Now, what happens here is router 3 is advertising 30 network as EHRP update and the router 2 will take this route as EHRP and then it's saying it's going to advertise them in RIP with a metric of 1 that is because we define manually that is something you have to do it manually and then when it reaches here it receives the 30 network with a with a with a hop count value of 1 so that's what you can see here I'm receiving 30 network with a metric of 1 and there is no uh, representation like normally you will see all your internal routes as R, external routes also will be displayed as R. So there is no differentiation in internal and external routes in outputs wise in RIP, but in EHRP it will be different. In EHRP internal routes you will see as D and external routes you will see as DEX. Anyway, once we configure the other way redistribution, we can see that. So let's go to router 3. And on the router 3, we will verify whether I am able to see the route coming from router 1, that is my 10 door network. I am not able to see. And the reason is we did only one way redistribution. So we just did the redistribution of RIP, uh, EHRP into RIP. Now we need to do opposite side redistribution of um, redistribution of opposite side from RIP into EHRP. Okay. So again, the source destination, the source protocol is RIP and destination protocol is EHRP. I need to go to router 2. I need to get into the router, which protocol mode? Router EHRP 100, because that is my destination protocol. And then we need to tell redistribute. What is the source protocol here? RIP. We need to simply say space RIP. And there is no nothing, just you need to use question mark. When you use question mark, you will find an option metric. Now here also, Whatever the metric used by RIP, hop counts, EHRP cannot understand because EHRP understand only the cost value and that is something calculated based on uh, based on the bandwidth delay load MTU and reliability. So which means we need to manually define the bandwidth, we need to manually define the delay load MTU and reliability five values. We need to manually define and based on the five values whatever you define, EHRP will automatically calculate a separate cost based on the values for all the RIP learned routes. Now, what happens if I don't define the metric? In EHRP, if you don't define the metric, it takes a default metric of infinity, which means uh, the routes will not get redistributed. And even though it's get redistributed, there won't be any metric. So 
there won't be any communication so keep that in mind Man- defining the metric in rip and ehrp is mandatory you have to do that okay so let's go to router 2 and verify the same in the command line i'll go to router 2 and then we will do redistribution of rip into ehrp so we need to get into ehrp mode and then we we'll say redistribute rip and then we need to define the metric so metric and then we can use question mark to find the next possible options bandwidth any bandwidth you can give let's say i'm using uh, 1000 kbps link now it's better to give the same uh, ma- ba- metric values uh, re- near to defaults we can say near to defaults means assuming that it's my serial link and it's using some 1000 kbps of bandwidth because the metric value will be calculated based on these values delay so the default delay is 20000 so i just go with the same values Anyway, reliability can give any number because anyway they are not using the metric calculation. So load is one and MTU is 1500. Done. So once we define these parameters, now router three should be able to see the route. If I give show IP route EHRP, you can see router three is able to see the routes as DEX. Now the one difference you'll find here is uh, the the routes which are learned through direct EHRP, you will see them as D, nothing but we call them as internal routes. And whenever we see DEX, you need to understand that these routes are learned from different protocol, maybe other than EHRP, and they got redistributed into EHRP. Now that's that's what you can see here, DEX. And one more difference is the administrative distance value will be 170. So for the normal learned routes, which are my internal routes, the administrative distance will be 90. And for the routes which are redistributed into EHRP, it will be default 170. And the next value you can see here, this metric. This metric is calculated based on the bandwidth, delay, load, empty reliability, whatever we have defined at the time of redistribution. So based on those numbers, whatever you define, based on that, it's going to calculate and it's going to generate one cost for all the RIP learn routes. Okay. So this output wise, a slight different but this is how uh, we do redistribution into RIP. So always we need to keep in mind anything you do redistribution into BGP, the source can be any protocol. It can be RIP, EHR, it can be OSPF, it can be any other protocol. We need to mandatory define the metric in terms of five values. And when you're redistributing any protocol into EHRP, we need to manually define the metric in terms of hopcons. Anyway, we'll see how to do redistribution if you are using OSP protocol probably in our next videos.